What's going on everybody? It's your boy Virus here. Back for a little video. Um, it's probably going to be a little long. Um, I'm going to edit it as much as I can. However, uh, so let me just do, start with the start with it this way. Okay, Happy Thanksgiving. Um, by the time you're watching this, it's either already past Thanksgiving or it is on Thanksgiving. I'm planning on uploading this at 1 o'clock p.m. on November 28th with sh shout out to my mom because her birthday is tomorrow as well. So, alright, so here's all the codes. Alright, the island codes, they're all finalized. I don't have to worry about fixing them. I think they're at their best they possibly can be. All finished maps. Um... And I'm going to reveal them to you. Let me know in a comment which one you like the most. Um, I'm going to go over them. So it's going to be a long video. However, <clears throat> excuse me. However, if you just want to go to a certain one and check it out yourself, in the description will be all the codes. Okay? So you'll be able to see which one you want to watch. Alright, so... For a 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 4v4 box wars, okay? That's one of them. That's my newest one, and it's looking pretty good. I, I think it's perfect. Um, Turtle Wars. Western Zone Wars. And I updated that. I'll get into that. Uh, quick edit course. Shout out to Uzi Pros helping me make the Fort Town map. We're going to do the Fort Town map first. Uh, well, actually, the edit course probably be better if I yeah probably way better if I just do it this way um, come on load up alright so western zone wars Quick edit course, I'm going to fly through that, so don't worry about that. Uh, I can put on the... Alright, I'll put on the, the viruses 1v1 map. Alright, but we're going to start out with the Fort Town map. A.K.A. Nuketown. Um, so me and Uzi Pros made this together. I think y'all like it. Here's his YouTube, his Twitch, his Twitter. He's got like 4,000 or something on Twitch. He's a Twitch streamer. Um, he put this for me. He made this pregame area. At my YouTube, that's the only thing I've really used. Twitch, I'm not really a Twitch player, person. And Twitter, that's my old Twitter. Um... But anyway, basically what you do is, it looks nice, right? But VZ virus, creator code, wait. No, that's not the creator code. He messed that up. How dare you mess that up. Uzi pros. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, he must have... Alright, whatever. It is what it is. So... Let's say we want to have a quick scope match, okay? You gotta go... You go into Sniper, right? And then it'll take you to the map. Now, I'm assuming the SMGs and whatnot are all gonna be... Like, the SMG that you get... It's just for like trick shots and stuff. So. 
But basically, it's a Black Ops 1 Newtown. As best as we could have did it. Um, it looks nice. It really does. Uh, if you want to go check it out, code's above you, but it's also going to be in the description. Um, anyway, th that's that. So... Alright, so first let's do my box wars map. Alright, so here's the pregame loading part. So everybody's here, switch teams. You can have 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, or 4v4. And just put the team on um, support of critical viruses. Of course, you want to do that. Um, And, uh, yeah, so you, you, you get to start with the teams and all that stuff. Here's the classes. This is, this is the Box Wars map. You only get 750 mats. Um, and, you know, have all, have, have fun at it. All right? Have fun at it. Blah, blah, blah. You know, do what you gotta do. So that's that. Um, team one, team two. Team th 3 and Team 4, I believe, usually spawn over there. So, so we're going back to Hub. Um, Bach, I mean, Turtle Wars. Alright, so Turtle Wars is pretty simple. It's just a big giant cage. And, uh, yeah, everybody's just turtling up. Last person standing is the victor. Um, you get an S a blue SMG, a purple pump, three minis, and then one slurpfish. One trap, too. But you get 5-5-5 five, five, five for all mats. So, that's pretty self-explanatory right there. Western Zone Wars. Okay, I just updated this not too long ago to um, what's in the game currently, as of right now, for weapons you can get. So, if we start the match, I'm going to get random loot. Throw it at your feet, because that way, you know, it's not just all on you. That way you can organize it, however, pick it up however you want to pick it up. Um, I got the worst healing of them all. You get five small fries, which... Five's a good amount, but you ain't getting much else. There's some random spawns over there that I never took out. I'm going to have to do after this video. So it won't be there by the time you see it. Um, Storm is like normal. Like, you know, here's other, you know, anything in the game. There are only guns you can get in the game randomly spawn. So anything you get in arena... You can possibly get nothing more, nothing less. And die. Alright. So, we're back to hub again. We're, we're flying through these like I promised. Alright. So, next. Virus is 1v1 map. Honestly, it's, it's nothing too special, to be honest with you. Gave a blue SMG, a purple pump. That's pretty much it. And, and minis, if you want to play with just heals. With heals. And you get traps. But, if you're going to play with traps. Um, so yeah, it's nothing special. I just designed my map, that's all. It's closed up so you don't have to... The, this is the coolest part about it though. It's closed up up there. So you don't even have to worry about accidentally going over black height limit because you know how it'll glitch out your whole creative when you know kick you from creative and whatnot because you hit max limit. Well, you have no fear. Virus is here to save you from the hassle. So
So basically, I'm not even trying a 90, obviously. You guys see my 90s. When I'm on, I'm on. I'll be like, you know? Alright, we're almost there. Come on. Alright, so. Max height. This would be max height. If I go up a little bit more, I'd get kicked from the whole game. So, you don't have to worry about that. And I used to not have fall damage on. Do I still have it on? I mean, I used to, used to have it on. Nope, I don't have it on no more. I took that off. That's what the bouncers are for. Because then I feel like, hey, if you shot down, you fall, or you fall to your death, it's still a loss, you know? But anyways, so that's that. And uh, I think this is the final one. Alright, so I'm just going to go through it like this instead of actually do it. Um... So you hit the button, here's all my plugins. You go up, down, up, down, up, down, like normal. There. So you like that. And then you edit, 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 edit. Oh, this is a lot harder to explain. But you basically go underneath and just edit all the way up. Alright? This is just getting through, self-explanatory, just getting through. This is editing down. Um, this is just walls in your way. And then you got some stairs in your way. Don't worry about the mats. I'm actually going to put <laughs> a checkpoint here instead. Why, you ask? Because a lot of people die around this area so player checkpoint alright why is it being weird there we go okay it's it's glitched out alright cool that's what I'm looking that's what I'm talking about alright so you just go like this pyramid your way up Right, you go like this, you double edit, double edit, double edit, double edit, double edit, all the way up, double edit. This is where people die. Side jumps. For me, they're simple. For others, I don't know. That, you just edit. See, simple for me, I, I don't have a problem with it. So, but anyway, you go up, you edit, and then there's going to be a bot that spawns sentry, but it spawns over there. Just shoot him, go like that, edit your way all the way down. So what you want to do is you want to close the wall for what you see, and then you want to... Just re-edit what you see, close it behind you. So everything is making you do exactly what you see. This is a freebie, you can do whatever you want. And this is water falling down. You guys know how to do it. Waterfall all the way down. And 90, 90 up. 90 to that. You just jump on one of these boosters, it doesn't matter which one, they all take you here. Down. And then this is just like a maze, you just gotta get through the maze. It's all metal maze. With random builds that are a pain in the butt. You're gonna pick up a shoddy, don't worry about this wood. There's a checkpoint right there. You're gonna, you're gonna build, edit, destroy bots. Pretty much. Then you go make this, you go edit, edit, catch yourself. Make sure that you catch yourself because you, a lot of people die here too. So just catch yourself and go all the way down. 
get the the last bot will be right here take these traps you have two traps what I like to do is I like to go like this and then I place two two traps and just jump over like that um, but you can do however you want to do it just trap kill him and then if you do it fast enough get your time go hit your time again so that's that Alrighty. Now let me just check to see if I have anything else that I can show you real quick. I think that's it for right now. Everything else I'm working on. Ah, the death runs. Okay, well. I'm going to show you the death runs. Okay, so. This, I have two death runs. There's a hard one and an easy one. We're going to fly through the hard one. But the easy one... I can do that. And there's another reason. I want to get in depth with you to show you the rules of this one. See, this one is not hard. Except... Like level 7 I believe but anyway you have 10 lives you only have 10 lives so you don't want to die at all you only have 10 lives so there's multiple ways that you can go through this way you can go that way you can go around that way it's just a little maze okay I usually go through this way you know bake those two traps that's it watch out there's a trap right here Above you, you know, I, I, I'm just going to go like this. You can do that too if you want. Um, here's the trick to this one. Oh. You just put cones on everybody. You don't have to worry about getting shot and killed. Like, I don't know why people don't just use these cones. Alright. So then you got another trap right there. Just bait that. There's no trap on that side. You just take an impulse grenade, you just go like this. I almost died actually, believe it or not. Um, you can cheat this level by just walking off. And just sliding through this whole entire level. Okay? You can stop yourself right there if you want. But with the wood that you already have, this is the hard, like the hardest, level 6, right? You have to go like this. You have to bait, bait, and just walk around everything, which is a lot harder than you'd think. Um, but for just to show you the rest of the level, I'm going to cheat. That would have been bad. Oh, wait, I don't need to break that. Alright. Okay. Very simple. I mean, this is me cheating, obviously. Try doing it legitimately. Let me know how you make out. Alright, so... Then you're just running up here. There's a trap right there. There's a trap right here. Alright. You grab the Infinity Blade, and that's it. You win. And this says use code viruses. Alright, you win. Whoever gets the Infinity Blade first wins. You only have 10 lives though. Because it's easy. Um, so that's that. We're going to fly through the last death run. Which a lot of people rage at and it's very hard. It, I... The first person to complete it, I created it. I had to be able to complete it so I knew it was possible. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm going to give this away. Basically, level 1 is not really a level 1. Okay? So, level 1 has these traps all the way up, right? 
which is possible. Oh, and then there's these ices, icer things, right? These uh, free straps, right? That make you slide right back down into the strap. But that, you know, you can avoid that and stuff like that. But it that's a troll. Level 2 is over here. It's not that hard. So. So now we're on level 2. And there's all, everything else leads to your death. Like this one will lead to your death. Right? Or there's only one way that works. And it's over here. Alright, so you hit up here. Whatever. This is only 10 wood. Now, 10 wood. Eh. You're probably like, what do you need 10 wood for? Okay, so you bait all these traps. There's a trap on each one of these blocks. Right? You go like that, right? And then you're going to hit the icer right here. You're going to build a ramp right there. That's what the 10 wood's for. And chances are, actually I'm pretty positive, you will die. Okay. Why is the ice so hard? Alright. Alright. So... Now, you can't just go up here like that, but I'll show you something. Alright, so now you impulse. You impulse to this one, to this one. You can go into this one, or I like to land on, like, this one right here, or this one. You know, jump down and jump across. Then there's just this tunnel one. You know, all these are, you know, the same. I don't know why... That's just disappeared. That's crazy to me. Because that wasn't like that. I guess the game screwed me over. But it's alright. I'll fix this real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. And yeah. Simple. Alright, so you come around here. You want to watch these bounce pads. Because they'll launch you right into the trap, right? And all that stuff. So, you go in, take this, you're going to boost to right around here, and then you'll land on this checkpoint level 7. Level 7, I ain't going to lie, it's annoying. Level 7, you got to like strafe jump, you know, you got to jump on all this, which I can't even cheat. And then you gotta jump on these small things. But yeah, it took me three hours to do this legitimately. And then you're at level eight. And then you gotta jump all the way up here. Right? You just keep spinning up. And then I would watch yourself right here because this one doesn't jump. So what you'll see, and I'm being a troll about it, is people go like this. Like, okay. And they'll just walk off. All because they expected it to jump. That one does not jump. And then level 9. Very hard. But level 9. Is probably the hardest of them all. Running against this thing. You jump. You know, you get all the way across. Level 10. Has these um, grenades basically there's ghost grenades so you can become a ghost then you jump down and then you just you you wall run onto the infinity blade which is right here now I'm going to show you some east, east, easter egg things right so once you get to level 4 right you can impulse yourself up I'm going to give myself some impulses. Alright. So, let's say I impulse myself up. Wow. I'm a bot. Alright. You jump around like that. You see how I just jumped around? I jumped around the barrier. The barrier... The barrier is going to be in the way. But you jump around like that. You come all the way over here. You come down here. Impulse over. Right? Go like this. Jump down here. 
And if you want to see the Easter egg, how to get from level 4 to level 8, you crouch, get in there, go back up this route again, like it was before, get to this wood. Grab about 50 wood, right? And then go like this. Okay, so you see how I just put block those off with cones, so I can't, so I don't jump. All right, so that's good. And then come back around. Crouch again. Go around. Go. Build a ramp up right here. Come all the way up. And not 50, but you only need, really need 10, uh, 30. Um, and then jump all the way down onto this platform. You're at level 8, from level 4. Simple. Um, and level 9 to the finish line. You can bypass level 9 to the finish line. A little Another Easter egg that only I've done because I don't really tell anybody about this. But now everyone's going to be able to do it. You can run into it like that. And if you hit it right... Do you see where I'm at? I won. I cheated the whole level. I cheated from level 4 to the finish. So I jumped from level 4 to the finish pretty much. Um, but yeah. You know sometimes you'll die or whatever. Doing this but. If you run at it at an angle like that. You'll go on to it. So, that's that. that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a long video, but uh, if, you've, if you've watched this to the very end, I want you to comment, Happy Thanksgiving. Um, this is your boy Virus. Peace soup. Peace out. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Spend time with your family.